Hello, and welcome to Credit Matters TV. We recently published an article on the topic of climate change and how well the insurance market is prepared for the extreme weather events we've seen in recent years and that we're likely to see in the future. I'm joined in the studio by the author of that piece, Miroslav Petkov. Welcome, Miro. Uh, Miro, if I can start by um, talking about the extreme weather events we've seen in recent years uh, in various parts of the world, uh, what impact have they had on our ratings of insurance companies? Despite those events having a quite material economic and social impact, uh, there was a limited impact on the insurance companies, and we, we expected that. Uh, those events were well within the insurer's excess capital and risk appetite. And as a general insurance have the capabilities to uh, absorb those such events like those, uh, by um, um, ensuring that they have well diversified book of business and by um, managing their the capital and their reinsurance protection. Now if we can take a, a forward looking view, um, how do you see the future impact of climate change on the insurance markets and the modelling of risk by the insurance companies? We agree with the industry that climate change is likely to have material impact from medium to long term. Uh, and the industry has the capability to uh, reflect any gradual increase in the cost as a result of climate change in their pricing. However, some scientists believe that uh, then climate change may be leading to increase in the occurrence of extreme events, even, even at the moment. And but we recognize that until there is scientific consensus, it's difficult to reflect uh, such uh, uh, increase in the occurrence of those events explicitly in the pricing the, uh, or, or the exposure range of the companies. Um, however, uh, during our discussion with the companies, we would like to understand to what extent they may incorporate uh, those adjustments implicitly or explicitly in their uh, capital and exposure management. Great. And, and then now looking from an S&P perspective, can you talk a little about how we reflect extreme weather risk uh, in our ratings analysis? We reflect uh, that risk in both our business and financial uh, profile assessments. In the business profile, we consider how well companies are diversified and in what markets they operate and to what extent those markets are exposed to uh, cat events. In the financial risk profile, we reflect what impact extreme uh, cat events may have on their capitalization. Uh, more specifically, those which are likely to uh, occur less frequently than once every 250 years. Also, in our projections, we incorporate the expected cut losses over the next uh, two years. Uh, and al also, our ratings reflect our view of the insurance risk uh, management, uh, underwriting, and exposure management. And if I can summarize some comments from your article, Miro, you're essentially saying that there's been relatively little impact from extreme weather events on our ratings so far. Do you think anything could trigger our ratings impact in the future? Um, it, uh, it, it will depend on uh, the, the company's specific capital position and the reinsurance protection. But as a whole, we don't expect that there will be widespread rating changes unless we experience really extreme events such as those which are likely to occur less frequently than every uh, um, 250 years. Great. Well, thanks, Miro. Thank you for joining us. And this includes our edition of Credit Matters TV. And thank you for joining us.